Hey kids, this is Mr. Cozy, and today we are going to continue our discussion of set theory, um, talking about union and intersection, and then applying those ideas to intervals. So let's get started. Let's imagine that we have t two sets. Set A consists of one, two, and three, and four, and five. And set B consists of 2 and 4 and 6 and 8. The question is, how can, can I put these two sets together? And there's a couple of different ways to think about it. One, one way is union. Now, if I want to, to union these two sets together, that looks like this. A, union and B. Okay, A union B. So this this little U-shaped thing stands for union, which is probably not a coincidence. Now, so what does this do? Um, anything in A union B is a member of at least one of the two sets. The two component sets. That being A or B. So the idea is is that the union can can contains anything that's in A and anything that's in B. And if something happens to to be in both, great. But for something to be in the union, it only needs to be in one of of these two sets. Okay, if it's in both, not a problem. So if A union B would look like this. I throw in everything that's in A and then throw in everything that's in, in B. Now the 2 and the 4 are already in A. That's fine, but I shouldn't throw them in again. I do not have en any duplicates in a union. Okay? So if if something is is in both, I only need to write it once, and I should only write it once. So uh, two is in is in the set already. The four is in the set already. Five, six, and eight. Okay. So if it's a if it's if it's in the union, then it's in one of the two component sets. Okay. Intersection is a little bit different. intersection would be a horseshoe in B. Okay, and this horseshoe stands for intersection. Okay, anything in A intersect B must be a member of all component sets. So A and B. Okay, if it's in the intersection, it has to be in A and in B. It has to be in, in both. Okay, so if, if you look up here at A and, and B, what elements are in, are in both? What members are in A and in B? That would be 2 and 4. Oops, it's a wonky curly brace. There we go. Okay, o only 2 and 4 are 
in both. So they are in the intersection. Here's another way uh, of thinking about intersection. Um, this is an over overhead view of Main Street at, 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 and 7th Street um, near the school. Imagine that you, you, you walked from the school, walked down the sidewalk, let's do this in red, you walked down, down the sidewalk, and then for some stupid reason, and you shouldn't do this because this is just an example, don't do this, and if you do it, don't say that I told you to because I'm not. You walked right in the middle of the intersection, and you stood there. Okay, first of all, don't do this because you you will get hit or at the very least yelled at. But ask yourself if you're if you're right here in the intersection, which road are you on? Are you on Main Street? Which runs this way? Or are you on 7th? which runs this way? And the answer is you're on both because you're in the intersection of these two streets. And so in this intersection you are on Main and on 7th. Okay? It's the same idea with sets. If it's in the intersection it's got to be in both. Okay? Now uh, the application to of this of these two ideas to intervals is important. So let's let's take a look at three different intervals. Let's take take a look at interval uh, C, which is um, negative two to four. Let's take a look at interval D, which is uh, one. To seven, and let's take take a look at interval E, which is three to infinity. Okay, now we're going to take these these intervals because these are are sets and union them together. So let's think about what uh, C union D. Would, would would look like so I'm this contains everything that's in C or in D uh, and, and probably the 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 easiest way to to see this is to make a line graph so here's the the number line C would start over here at negative 2 and go all of the way up to 4 D would start at seven or at one and go up to seven. Okay. Their union is what's in C or D. So think about all of the numbers that are in C or D. What's the lowest number? Lowest number would be negative two. What's the highest number that's in C or D? 7. Now, is negative 2 included in the interval? Yes, it is, because it's, it's a bracket. How about 7? No, because it's a parenthesis. So that's C union D. OK. How about C intersect D? What's in both C and D? What's the overlap between these two intervals? The overlap is right here. So these numbers are in both. It starts at 1, and we go up to 4. The 1 is not included because it's a parenthesis. The 4 is included because of the bracket. Okay, that's intersection. Okay, take a stab at um, D union E and D intersect E. What I want you 
to do is take a, a, a stab at, at these two things, put them on a half sheet uh, uh, of paper, and hand it to me uh, walking in tomorrow. Okay? Do D un, u, union E and D intersect E. Okay? If you aren't sure, do your best. All right? Okay, guys, that's all I, I have for, for today. Um, have a great evening, and I'll see you later. Bye.